Uh, this setup is a pulse generator driving in IGBT pulse uh, generator, uh, 488 kHz. Uh, that is the frequency that this is tuned at. Uh, the IGBT driver pulses the center coil. These coils are three coils equally made, same direction um, on a CD sleeve. Uh, I've got now the, the south side up. I will show you with the compass later on. And uh, the north side down. The north and the middle coils are flat together, just close. The top uh, coil, this one, is upside down and distanced a little bit, just a little bit off of the center uh, coil. And I did this with a rubber band. So it's slightly elevated above the center coil and it's flipped around. The connections to the IGBT from the center coil is um, the outer rim is to ground and the center of the center coil is to the positive of the pulse. The coil is from the inside to the outside clockwise wound when seen from above. The outside coils, so the top and the bottom one, are connected for, uh, via the center. So this is the center, this is the outer rim. The center of the top and the bottom coils are joined together here and to ground. This is my ground, this is straight to ground. Uh, I also have a ground connection to the ground of the IGBT driver because it makes it more stable and I've got another connection to ground that is this variable capacitor this is used to tune down the resonant frequency of the highest uh, frequency coil and that is the north bottom coil it's closest to the, uh, the pulse coil and the resonant frequency is much higher than the other coil. So I place a uh, variable uh, capacitor parallel to only the uh, north bottom coil. And that way I tune the resonant frequency down to match the resonant frequency of the other coil, the south top coil has a lower resonant frequency and when I'm tuning it down then the phases become opposite. Um, yeah, so the capacitor is connected to the middle, the ground connection and to the outer rim of the bottom north coil. That connection is also going to the the middle. Uh, let's see, is this the right one? Yeah, to the middle of the series connected capacitors. These capacitors are series connected, and in the middle between the two uh, is where the north coil is connected. And the other ends of the series connected uh, capacitors are going to two diodes. One uh, becomes the positive and the other one becomes the negative. This generates a DC circuit. Then uh, these uh, diodes are joined together and connected to the outer rim of the top coil. So the top coil outer rim is connected via the diodes to the series uh, uh, connected uh, capacitors and the outer rim of the bottom north coil is connected to the middle 
of the series connected uh, capacitors. Um, that is the whole setup. Yeah, there's nothing more to it. Okay. Well, uh, the oh yeah, the the voltmeter is set on 1000 volt reading uh, on the capacitor side of the two diodes, so the positive and the negative on the DC circuit. I will now turn it on. You see the voltage rise is quick. It's not properly tuned, but it's good enough. Um, you can see this is a south pole generated here on the other side is a north pole so that's north so do it like this south pole okay um, I will s let you see the scope I will first try to tune it a little bit better because sometimes I can make a little bit over tuning and then the voltage goes a lot up no it's not you see I make very tiny adjustments this is a 500 picofarad variable uh, capacitor from an old uh, tube radio which I bought for very very little money okay this is the best can change the, the frequency again and it goes up I'm going down in frequency now yeah more 900 volts and yeah there it is okay I will uh, keep it at this uh, I've got now 485 kilohertz 900 volts in the series connected uh, capacitors and the capacitors are made in Spain DNA and there's a lot of coding on it and uh, I don't understand it I measured them at 6.3 microfarads plus of or minus 5% 400 volts PU or 450 volts QV they are made 50 60 Hertz but I'm using them in a DC modus so that's four of them here um hey where's my voltage gone oh yeah, i turned uh, the system off so now the, the voltage is dropping again because the diodes uh short the the whole system out so i will turn the system on again and you will see the quick voltage rise hey something has gone wrong where's my signal hand where is it going? What did I do? Ah. My IGBT power supply went out. Okay. The red light is on. So, a little setup failure. That's good because now the capacitors are empty and you can see the quick voltage rise again. Um, so I turn it on, watch the voltmeter, 3, 2, 1, 950 volts. Now there is a delay in this meter because I plugged it into the wall socket and uh, I'll turn it off again and let it drain. Um, the wall socket uh, provides uh, 230 volts and it's really powerful but still the meter show the delay in showing the, the voltage so the, the time isn't act accurate but I can show you the um, um, where's my I can show you the voltage rise in the in the let's pop this one a little bit of energy left when I pop it at 950 volts it's insane okay I'll show you the oscillator. I will turn it on. Three, two, one, and it's there. Maximum voltage. You can see the phase 
it's out of phase. Uh, this is the signal of one coil, the, t the outer rim, and this is the signal of the other coil. And together you can see they are out of phase. It's not perfectly out of phase, but that's also due to this oscilloscope. This is a really old garbage thing. It's pretty much out of phase. So, and uh, the settings, I've tuned them because they're pretty large. Off screen, five volts per division. And I've cut the probes at 10 times. So uh, you see the voltage is really big. I've got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 divisions times 5 times 10. And that's the voltage. And you see here the voltage rise 942 volts. And that's about. Uh, well, you can ca calculate the, the joules yourself. Now the trick is, this is only a test setup. Uh, this is only 12 volts. I have uh, done this also with um, a 19 volt uh, setup, and then I the, the 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 meter rose to 1500 volts. So, if you used um, 55 volts pulse then you would end up with more than 4000 volts and the energy stored in these capacitors if you calculate them you need formula the energy the joules uh, is equal to half the capacitance and it's in series so you need one fourth and um, times the voltage squared now the voltage squared is a factor uh, <laughs> Uh, very important because uh, if you make this a high voltage system the energy gain is a lot higher so I hope uh, this uh, shows enough for some uh, experimentation I will show you what happens when I detune uh, make them a little bit smaller so we can see what happens I'm going to detune it with this variable capacitor and you see one rises as the other grows and this is the phase relation that changes you see, oh, and now it's gone and the power is again off from the IGBT I haven't got a good connection there anyway um, that's my setup I hope uh, it will inspire some people. Thank you for watching.